Now arriving at Phineas's top secret orbital lab. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Wait. Can't go to Byzantium just yet, so we're gonna go talk to Phineas. And I'm gonna take Ellie and Parvati with me. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Negotiate with Sprats for territory? What? You can negotiate with sprats for territory? I never knew this. <laughs> Hello? Can you hear me? Does this work? Yes, it does. Oh, damn it. Blast, that's loud. <clears throat> Whose ship is that? I'm just securing my ongoing experiments and securing myself. Okay. Mind the mess. Uh, I haven't had a visitor since. Uh, in fact, I've never had a visitor. Hey, Phineas. How are you, buddy? Hi. shoulder if I went behind a wall of bulletproof glass. I don't know how you did it, but Hiram Blythe just sent me everything I needed. According to Hiram's message, Minister Clark has ordered a suspicious amount of dimethyl sulfoxide. It's almost as if he's hoarding the colony's remaining supply. Typical elitist, hoarding supplies during a time of scarcity. Once I have those chemicals, we can revive the Hope's colonists and put some decent people in charge. So, good news. You're going to Byzantium and stealing those chemicals. Exciting. Hooray! Exciting! What's so important about these chemicals? <coughs> if I had time and several blackboards, I could explain the details to you, but to put it briefly, dimethyl sulfoxide is the reason you're alive today. The chemical is absolutely essential to reviving the Hope's colonists. I need you to steal as much as you possibly can. The more, the better. If you don't bring me enough chemicals, I might not be able to save the Hope's colonists. And then nothing will stop the board from destroying this colony. Mm, what was that about Minister Clark? Aloysius <laughs> Clark, Minister of Earth. Virtually every colony requires the presence of a minister of Earth. Clark is complicit in every one of the board's crimes. Whenever the board issues some new decree, you'll find Clark's signature on the dotted line. Mm, you make it sound so simple. Oh, I understand it must seem impossible to you. Infiltrate Byzantium, the crown jewel of the colony. Steal a batch of rare chemicals from a heavily guarded estate. In order to do the impossible, you must first divide it into a series of smaller, less impossible tasks. So, what's the plan? Ah, yes, the details. I'm not about to ask you to rampage through Byzantium trading bullets with the board's agents. We'll have to resort to subterfuge. Baga. Carmen Imagawa. She's my contact in Byzantium. Meet her at the docks. She'll have all the necessary intelligence you require. I'm giving you my old nav key to Byzantium. You'll need it to land in the Golden City. Remember, you're looking for dimethyl sulfoxide. Big green bubbling vessel with a warning label. I'll take as much as you can find. Mm, anything I should know about this Carmen Imagawa? You can trust her, if that's what you're asking. Imagawa is the finest special agent in Byzantium that money can buy. My money, anyway. Find common Imagawa, steal chemicals, got it. <laughs> Level up! I love the party! Woohoo! 
whoops, uh, let me get my perk. Uh, yeah, let me get my armor rating and skill bonus. Skills. Heavy weapon critical hits increase rate of fire. Yeah, let me put it in there. And then go back to inventory, put on my... <coughs> my yeah, persuade and dialogue skills. Perfect! <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god, it, it's an actual boost. Hey. Hibernation helmet? Yeah, sure, I'll take it. Your old hibernation mask. <laughs> Uh, of course he did. Sister pig hoof. Yeah, the sister pigs make excellent test subjects. Also surprisingly nutritious. Is that a real shrink rag? Aha! I see you found my portable molecular compression device. Better known as a shrink ray. Find the target. I think I'm just going to take everything you have. <coughs> because why not? Phineas V. Wells. Password required. Hack it! <coughs> H. Blythe? I worked it out. Explain details later. Will be difficult to reproduce. Need your help. All necessary materials I should be present in Halcyon, but locations elude me. Dumped a new associate dirt side turret to near Edgewater. They have a stake in my purpose, but trust in them only about 23.7% at present. They're recovering a ship. Should be doing any time. Should be along any time. Just need to know where to send them. Let when you get this eager to be done. Be careful, that's my communications terminal. What are you plotting, Phineas? Alright. Fourteen, remember this time. Absolutely vital. Fourteen, fourteen, fourteen. So, uh what's fourteen about Phineas? Alright. What else he got around here, Phineas? Kind of curious. Obs obscure body in the SK system. Phineas, what are you up to? Hi. <coughs> All right, let's get back to our ship and go to Byzantium, the jewel of the colony. Actually, really eager to go to Byzantium so that I can get uh, what was it, fancy clothes for Pavati, so that she can finally go on her date. 
That's going to be so magnificent. <clears throat> Crew report. The Yoka is drunk. Surprise. <laughs> the Yoka is drunk. Uh, of course she is. <clears throat> I understand we have decided to continue supporting the outlaw scientist, Dr. Phineas Wells. Yep. That's right. Where is... I don't see it. Is it on uh, Monarch? It's not on Monarch. Is it on Scylla? No, it's not on Scylla. Wait, it's on Tura too? Huh. I did not even realize. Oh, that's right. We are now in orbit above the red <coughs> cap, Captain. Because Tura too is like Earth. We gotta talk. What's up, Ellie? Since we're in Byzantium, there's something I've been meaning to do. What's that? I haven't actually talked to my folks in a while. Shocking, right? Anyway, it's probably about time I paid them a visit. Given the dangerous life I lead, they've got to be worried sick. Funny, you don't strike me as the type who keeps in touch. Which brings us to where we are today. Several messages and a few years late. See, I'm originally from Byzantium, born and raised. I know that probably comes as a big surprise. And now you just want to catch up with them? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <clears throat> sure, why not? Oh, well, I was thinking you'd come too. Okay, we'll go. Great. And when we get there, draw out your rough edges a bit. If you've got an outfit you haven't washed in a while, maybe one with some blood stains, wear that one. <laughs> I'll take care of dressing myself, thanks. You're the boss. <laughs> Anything else? I don't know. You, uh, y you, you have something to say about chasing down the dimethyl, dim dimethyl sulfoxide? I sure hope you negotiated for a raise with this Phineas guy. Why do you say that? Ever notice how this job gets bigger and more dangerous every time he calls in? He's asking a lot, Captain. Makes me wonder what your angle is. Hmm. <coughs> Phineas is trying to do good for the colony, and I want to help. I knew a doctor like him once. He had a patient complaining of ankle pain, so he amputated the man's foot. Oof. Wasn't even the right one. <laughs> point is, good intentions don't count for shit. <laughs> and nothing's more dangerous than a crusader with a cause. Besides, none of this is your mess, so why go dirtying your hands with it? Mm. I hadn't thought about it that way. Maybe you're right. I haven't survived this long by being wrong. And anyway, Phineas isn't your only option. The board's put a bounty on his head, and they've got more than enough bits to pay it. I've got no love for the corporations, but they know how to take care of their people. The ones at the top, anyway. Hmm. Might as well aim high. Exactly. You seem to have a good head on your shoulders, so I probably don't need to tell you this, but look out for yourself. No one else out here will. <gasps> Not even you? Hey, don't get any ideas. I'm just making sure you last long enough to pay me at the end of this. Anything else? Maybe. What can you tell me about Byzantium? 
It's like one of those stuffy art gallery pieces. Looks okay from far off, but once you get close, you realize it's just some mismatched shit everyone's agreed to overpay for. <laughs> Even the bribes are overpriced. Oh, boy. I need the lay of the land. Anything I should know? Don't trust anyone. Don't touch anything. And whatever you do, don't show your teeth when you smile. But... I brush my teeth every night. I got pearly whites in my mouth. People are extremely competitive about cosmetic dentistry. It can get ugly. Oh, cool. <laughs> That's what I've been saying. <clears throat> All right. Who's up? Uh, Ellie and Pavati. Perfect. This should be interesting. <coughs> Here's my. This place is nice. Hey, buddy. Do you mind? I'm needing someone. That's right. You're meeting me. Shh. No names, okay? The Phoenix is a wanted man, and the board has eyes everywhere in Byzantium. The Phoenix. Yeah. That's my code name for, you know, our mutual friend. Ah, gotcha. What's your code name? Oh, I'm Golden Eagle. Do I have a code name? Um, yeah, I named you Cuckoo. That's where we're gonna have issues, lass. <laughs> it makes sense if you think about it. Because I didn't know who you were, and old earth cuckoos would routinely trick other birds into feeding them. Hmm. Okay. Does this mean I'm supposed to have one, too? Fine. But make it a really good one. Let's go with... Rufus Hummingbird. Forget it. Codenames are for amateurs anyway. Shut up, Too Ellie! Late. I've already marked it off. Can't just go reassigning code names. Oh, oh, oh! Can I be chicken? Because chickens will adopt any critter's baby and keep them warm. You sure you don't want to be raven? Or a sparrowhawk? Aw. Okay, okay. Chicken it is. I love you, Pavati. Anyway, you're looking to make contact with Minister... Uh, Magpie, right? Yes. I should warn you, it won't <coughs> be easy. He spends most of his time in this estate, which is heavily guarded. There's got to be a way to catch the minister someplace less protected. Afraid not. He almost never leaves his home, and his guards never leave him. Can't say I blame him. It's scary out of doors. I mean, can you even count how many times we've been shot at? What work specialists, huh? Our mutual friend is really branching out. <laughs> Think about it, Parvati. I have two heavy weapons. With over 5,000 rounds each! <laughs> um, can't you get me into the minister's estate? Whoa, I'm not one of your B&E specialists. I just provide intelligence. Okay, so what can you tell me? Some of the guards hang around Billingsley's House of Inebriation between shifts. That place is still open? I used to study there during medical school. Maybe you could do some reconnaissance there. You know, swipe a key while nobody's looking. Mm, sure. Just remember, you didn't hear it from me. How exactly did you, did you get involved in all this anyway? 
I've always been fascinated by birds. If you ever research Earth species, there are thousands of them. So colorful and distinct. Here we got 11 flavors of terror rays and not much else. That kind of variety? I mean, gosh. Seems almost impossible. The other thing about birds, though, is their environmental indicators. When they die off, it's a sign that something's wrong. <laughs> like that doesn't take science 40 to say <laughs> maybe science four exactly <laughs> i started thinking about everything we see around halcyon and all the things we don't see like what for starters you rarely come across anyone living in byzantium who wasn't born here even though we get ships in all the time trust me anyone with a lick of sense gets out of here as soon as possible but most people don't. In fact, most people stay exactly where they start. Doesn't that seem strange to you? Yeah, it kinda does. And then there's the way nothing gets fixed. There used to be a suggestion box around here. People would drop ideas in. Nothing ever came of them, of course. Sounds pretty normal, actually. <laughs> sure, that part is. That's why they install shredders in those boxes, after all. <laughs> but one day, the shredder broke. No one came to fix it. And since it wasn't working, we didn't have anywhere to file our complaints. So you can imagine how messy things got. I bet your repair folks couldn't find parts. Back in Edgewater, I'd have to take something apart just to put another thing back together. Might have been the paperwork. Here, you have to append forms to your forms, and law help you if there's a single dash out of place. Lots of hell. At first, management put up an out of order sign, but that just seemed to worry people, like they were advertising something wasn't working. They eventually took the whole suggestion box sign down so that people didn't have any expectations about it. But they never fixed it, never replaced it. Doesn't that seem odd to you? Seems lazy to me. <coughs> <laughs> The whole episode made me wonder, if they can't fix something as simple as a suggestion box, what else aren't they fixing? After a while, I got connected with our mutual friend and started using my position here to feed him information when I could. That's it, really. Cool. Looks like we've got work to do. Good luck, Cuckoo. <laughs> God damn it. Don't give me that look, hummingbird. Come on, chicken. We've got work to do. <laughs> and I want to thank everyone for tuning in and watching. It truly does mean the world to me if you watch these and enjoy them. Cheers.